Hi and welcome to this video all about the Vintage Tube EQ in Logic Pro 10. So this video was actually taken from my complete Logic Pro 10 course. To gain access to this complete course, then be sure to check out the link in the description below. Okay, now let's have a look at the Vintage Tube EQ. So this is really two EQs combined into one interface and we can turn them on or off or engage them here with these switches. We also have a drive mode, which will affect both of the separate EQs. And we have phase mode and the volume output. So looking at the top left, here we have low boost and low attenuate. So this allows us to actually boost and attenuate the same frequency. You might think that's a little bit pointless. If it's the exact same frequency, why would you want to boost it and attenuate it? This allows us to create scoops. So we can boost the frequency and then attenuate it slightly after. So let's just try that now. Let's boost this frequency here at four and then attenuate it slightly after. So you can experiment with this and create some scoops when you're queuing. And here we can change the frequency. Going along we have high boost. choose the bandwidth here. And then the frequency. So this bandwidth here, this allows us to change the cue if you want to narrow or broaden the range of the frequency. So I do recommend going through and experimenting with this. Obviously, these are quite extreme settings for a master track, but this is just for this example so you can hear what this vintage tube EQ actually sounds like. This will add color to your mix. This will affect the overall sound with color. This is not a transparent EQ. If you want a transparent EQ, I do recommend using the channel EQ. But for these vintage style EQs, the whole point of it really is to add color and to slightly change the sound. And here we can change how much we want to attenuate. And here we can change the high range shelving frequencies to either 5, 10 or 20 or anywhere in between. Okay, let's just bypass this one for now. And we also have this other EQ down here. So this first section here, we can boost the frequencies, we can choose the frequencies we want to boost, and then boost them with this dial here. Next is dip, so we can choose the frequency we want to attenuate. So here we can dip or attenuate this frequency. Then we have high frequency, we can choose the frequency here we want to actually boost. So I would use this quite sparingly if you're going to use this on a master track. However, for this lecture, I thought I'd use some quite extreme examples just so you can hear what these different knobs and dials actually do. Then for output, we have drive mode. We have three different drive modes, silky, punchy, smooth. And then we have phase, natural or linear. Linear can be useful for mastering as it can preserve phase relationships between frequencies. However, it can introduce more latency and natural phase mode is the most common one, so I would recommend using this. But like I said, linear phase mode can be useful for mastering. And then we have output volume. So this is Vintage Tube EQ. I hope you find it useful. It's good fun. Just remember to use your ears and it will add color to your track when you have this plugin on. This video was part of my complete Logic Pro 10 course. To gain access to this full course, then be sure to check out the link in the description below.